It's not a Mukwebo, this one. No, I was Why raised by the Mukwebos. Yeah, but you know the Mukwebo. Ah, I'm a Mukwebo, what do you mean? You know the Mukwebo. <laughs> So if a girl says I'm a virgin, you can ask her, can I look at your hymen? You must be high, man. <laughs> <laughs> so you think you're going out on a date, Gandhi? Yo. Gandhi. You, yeah. The men date. Well, it is a men date if it's <laughs> too drop. <laughs> Damn, bro, you are thirsty, man. Can you refill him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna need it. Damn, yeah, bro. <laughs> Damn, bro. It's hot in here, man. <laughs> yeah, it is hot. It in is here. hot. Yeah. Can that you lift up was, your, yeah. your chair? Yeah, yeah sure. When you start, this chair, when you lie, yeah. it goes down. Oh, start okay. lying. <laughs> All right. I, 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 I was you... wondering, are you taller than me? You know, I was thinking to myself the other day, um, what do white people wear on Heritage Day? Ah. Ah. Rugby. Springbok oh, jerseys, man. Springbok That's jerseys. it, man. Springbok. Oh, they are milking it right now. Oh, they are so happy. And khakis, ne? Yeah. Khakis. Yeah, the, the Buddhas are farmers. But right khakis. now, it's the Springbok jersey. Springbok jersey. That, there you go. Yeah. yeah. At least right now, it's appropriate. They, yeah. they are, you know, at the World Cup. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back the Coast Lady! What, what? Ah, no, I just had uh, we had to attend a funeral in um, Mpumalonga. Baba. Yes, all the way. Um, Nagas? uncle, yeah, pastor. Oh, shame, man. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry for your loss, eh? Thank you. What What did you do at the at the funeral? Were you like Makoti vibes, cooking there in the back? No, no, no. I oh, know they had a catering team, you know. So there's catering at weddings yes. now. At, yeah. Oh, sorry, at funeral. At funeral sorry, sorry. Yes, yes, yes catering. Yes. Yeah, there was a catering. The team. usual catering. Ni mila ni Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. They, they what do, do you like, mean this catering? Like deco Oh, no, I thought she, she booked like a company that cooks. Oh, those fancy Yeah, ones. but they, no, it's not those fancy ones. It's, 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 you know, the, the in the villages, you know, how you have the abo mama who just, they, you buy the groceries, I think. And I don't know the arrangement, what they did, but it's buying groceries and then they come in and cook overnight before the funeral. Oh, yeah. Mama. And when when you die, you're going to Mpumalanga, you're getting buried yes, there. Yes, yeah, I'm going to get buried that side oh. because of uh, by. You're married. Yes, by I'm marriage. glad. Because there's some families who are like, no, I need to some Mabela in Natal because you're from in Natal, even though you're married. I used to. Oh, yeah. yeah, this family that, that's so weird. I've no, heard that in yeah. real life. Like the family I'm married to, they have their like um, graveyard. So I'm. Hey, the exactly. rich fam, only rich no, families. No, no, have... no. It's just like having an area. You know when it's predominantly like a certain like surname, like people in the you're in the same area. So obviously, you know, just down the roadish or just behind the mountain, you'd have the graveyard, and that's where everyone from the family gets buried. Wow. Where are you going, Simpiwe? Angu. Ah, uh, what's so funny, guys? Yeah, we are going to Debe. Yeah, we are going to Debe. What's so funny? Yeah. 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 Crystal Park. <laughs> I know. I'll be there in Crystal Park, the Lalango Colo. Lalango Colo, but so. What do you know, Lalango Colo? And you, Penrico, are you going to Heroes, Heroes Ground? Heroes Acre. Heroes Acre. Do we have a Heroes Acre? No, man. I'm going, I'll probably go to, to next, to around my mom in, ah. uh, in South Park Cemetery. That's in Boxburg. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's where my mom is. That's where uh, Ukukok is also. Oh, nice. Oh, Julia, I got uh, mm. With some family, I think Lungelo, Pra Lungelo is also the family member as well. Lungelo Penduga, Sandile's dad. Yeah, so that's where I'll go. All right, well, nice. In you obviously Pazima. I was the one, I'm I'm Do you guys also have your own in yeah, yeah, closure? Yeah. Like, yeah, oh, you see? Grave thing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Where everyone's there. Even my, my late uncle's there. Yeah. Wow, well, uh, Irex is the Irex, latest yes, there. Oh. Yes. Just, yeah, and then uh, your. I mean, I can get on my back door because I'm a Ramate. My dad, his surname is Ramate. Yeah, when I got to Ramate. Yeah, I can get on your back door. Ramate. 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 Ramatea. So he's not a Mukwebo, this one. No, I was Why raised by the Mukwebos. Yeah, but you know the Mukwebo. Ah, I'm a Mukwebo. What do you mean? You know the Mukwebo. <laughs> no, he's a, like I'm a Penduga. My mom is Penduga. Yes. We're in a similar situation. Oh, are yes. you serious? Yeah, yes. my mom is Penduga. So my dad, Nyao, Siponyao, is a Zulu guy. Oh. 
Sonhão. Que merda sonhão, né? Sabe, pô, é sonhão. Monhão, o culo no abo. Nem me acha que ele no abo. Monhão, o culo no abo. Monhão, o culo no abo. Anyway, head up, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Sonhãos, yeah! <laughs> Black Tudors is here. I'm not saying I'm scared. You're a I'm not saying 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 I'm not Oh, yeah, Dude is here. Up in here. Yeah, Dude is here. Fetchek <laughs> is here. SMP is here, man. Before we start the show, I gotta let you know that this show is sponsored by mm-hmm. Manscaped. Uh, you can join over 8 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped uh, with this exclusive offer strictly for all the chillers out there. Mm-hmm. You can get 20% off and free worldwide shipping when you use the code MACG at manscaped.com. That's M A C G at manscaped.com. So, for the very best in men's below the waist group, Grooming, visit manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you. Mm. I was chatting to Jason the other day and you realized, Ned, if there was a natural disaster in the country, we'd be fucked. Why? Why? Because we haven't done a drill. A drill? <laughs> yeah. Most countries do drills. Like, if there was an earthquake right now, do you know what to do? The whole country does a drill. A whole country? Yeah. yeah. A whole company and stuff. And small whole countries do. They, they, check, please Google there. Some hey. countries do drills, bro. So, For real? Mm. So I'm saying if there was an earthquake right now, Ghostly, what do you do? Oh my goodness. No one knows. I'm going under the bed. I don't know. What's <laughs> do? I'm just grabbing my children. Do you jump over? Oh, yeah. No. Yeah? True. Whew. We fucked. Hey, and when we've been having a lot of these tremors, earthquakes, yeah. and weird shit happening. Last time we did a drill was in school. Yeah, oh, I, I remember. I remember yeah, 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 well. yeah, in yeah. school. Yeah, in school. Alarm, and then you would go line up somewhere. And Imagine an earthquake, arms. an earthquake Kukasi. Do you think they'll know what to do? Yo, ah. call pra shakes if there's an earthquake Kukasi. <laughs> a shake, there's all of a shakes Kukasi. Kukasi gnom joint to shakes, there's a really dark guy called Sash. Who else is a guy? There's always a Echo Homo who plays football with a big head. There's always those people. So when an earthquake, call shakes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes, there are countries that do have drills, but the ones with the most <laughs> prepared drills is Japan, Indonesia, and the Philippines. I can mm. imagine, yeah. Yeah, it's a prepared for himself, yeah. man. Yeah. Nigeria? No. They're just drilling South African like. <laughs> <laughs> Drop this fucking thing. <laughs> Sorry. Guys, whatever happened to Slick Talk, bro? Slick Talk, I was expecting a video when I heard Minnie, um, the husband, oh, wants, yeah, to, yeah, the husband yeah, wants to yeah, that. We'll talk yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah, but I was expecting a video because he loves, he lives for these moments. Yes. I don't know what happened to Slick Talk, guys. After the 100k. <laughs> Yeah, he, hey, dropped, he dropped no, one he came feature. Back. He came back, one or two. And, and then, then what yeah, of chase what of Maybe he's a lawyer now, because you're studying oh, law, remember? And maybe so maybe he's practicing fees, law yeah. now. Yeah. And then those vulgate ladies. Man, it would be nice if he defended um, Quentin. Uh, <laughs> if Slick Talk was, was, was representing <laughs> Minnie's husband in court. I'm sure that's his dream job. Like, yeah. Your Honor, here we have... <laughs> Your honor, an egg girl. Now we know this man was worth 40 million rands when he met her. And now all he's looking for is 10,000 rands, your honor. <laughs> I'd love that. <laughs> That's Maybe in court, they've got like wooden, you know, the wooden cupboards, so it will fit. Yes. So his backdrop. Uh, the fully gay ladies? Uh, it was lockdown. Lockdown messed, uh, messed it up for them. But what was going to happen from that? Like, they just pulled. Bro, they no, were doing no, interviews. Yeah, bro, they were on radio. MacGyver, you even wanted them Name here. and shame. Which show was having them? MacGyver, remember. Oh, you were like, dude, to oh, get the Hooli oh, Gates. <laughs> let's take our people serious, man. Why would you not interview? Oh, dude, 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 you contacted the girls. You, you <laughs> chose their numbers. They went viral for posing while the song was playing, man. Come yeah. on. Which radio person was interviewing these girls now? Yeah. We must respect our... Um, come on, man, you know. 
That's weird. Yeah, performing but they were just kids. Stream. I don't even think it was intentional. And they blew up. So you can't even expect them to make something of it mm. when there's nothing there. Yeah. It was like the whistle girl. Remember? Yeah. Oh. The whistle girl. And she, apparently, oh, apparently she graduated even. Yeah. yeah. Do you know uh, about the guys? The whistle guys? <laughs> I'm at the dinosaur we see. <laughs> you know them. What, what, what about the whistle girls? I missed that. I, missed that. I didn't know there was whistling girls. There was there was a girl uh, yeah. just before lockdown. Just before lockdown. Uh, at Groove, she had the whistle. Oh, oh man, no bam bam yes. with the glasses. Yes. Yes. Poor yes. Cubs I actually remember. wanted to book her for the Sunbed Arena event. Oh, I think I think yeah. I'm not sure. Real? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, because she, she held us down during yeah, she, uh, lockdown, eh? Well, yeah. oh, just she, before. It was just before lockdown. Wow, yeah, yeah I remember her. All right, so Ghost Lady, what you got for us? All right, so um, this week, did you guys hear about the verdicts that happened with ooh, the Kumalos? So they oh, won yes. the defamation case against um, Jackie Pomotze. Yeah. Yeah, and remember what she had insinuated, what the way this all started. Mm. Yeah, with the sex tape with Romeo and stuff. Yes, yeah. With the boy. Yeah, that apparently it even happened. Rimming. And it's a, it's, it's yeah, like a wild, rapper. Eh? Crazy, yeah, rapper. crazy allegations. And even in, uh, insinuated it was a rapper. It was a rapper. This happened in, um, that's in their nasty, home, man. even. That's yeah, nasty. no, 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 that's a. Uh, no, hell no. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, um, I think, like, basically, I just found it, for me personally, I felt like. It was good for the cyberbullying that happens. You know, some people who just insinu insinuate things and say things without. And so it was a good that here is a case that has been won, you know, and that obviously it clearly puts um, a mark on. You must yeah, be but, very but, careful on what the yeah, things that you say. Yeah, but let's be honest. Romeo is very powerful, bro. Like, he can squash this. Like, you know, it's very powerful people. Yeah, can I'm saying, like, even if it, it did happen. Butt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you can nip it in the butt. Yeah, right? even if it did happen, that. I'm not I mean, saying it did happen. Yeah. But if it did happen, yeah. there's but no what? way it's coming out, bro. Yeah. There's no way he's losing. Yeah. What, what, what did it, what, why would it take so long, though? Because this thing really happened. Like, it, it, it's been, it's, they've been fighting this for years. Maybe she couldn't afford the legal fees. Maybe she didn't Who make it. Who? Jack, Jackie. Oh, okay. Maybe. Like, to me, it was, was it worth it? Because here's the thing, right? Um... They were not going to get much money out of Jackie. I mean, Jackie could always say, I don't know if she has the money or not, if there's going to be money to be paid uh, for their legal fees. But they're rich and stuff. But was it worth it, man? Because also, you know, Mac, if you say, right, that Saul is maybe what? Uh, sleeping with boys. And yeah, yeah. Saul's yeah. sleeping with boys, you know. And you say it. And then I take you to court. I win one day after like five years and stuff. You said it. You've planted that, that idea in people. And me winning the case may not change the idea that maybe I'm possibly doing these kind of things. It's out there already. Yeah, it's out there already. You know, so was it worth it to me is, is, is the thing. And the court case is just fueling the fire because here we are five years later still talking about it. Yeah, exactly. I had forgotten about it. I'm like, oh, damn. I did, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. But also, on the other side of the coin, to me, it also somewhat sort of says the incident didn't happen because remember how it started? Jackie had said she heard, uh, she overheard one yeah. of uh, Wasatana or a media mogul. Yeah. Um, begging for the tape not to be released. Mm -hmm. So if there is a tape out there, would they even come out to fight it? Because Jackie would then do everything in her power to get, to the, get tape, it, the tape to exonerate oh, her, exactly. herself, right? Because yeah. the whole thing is that the tape doesn't exist and therefore they have defamed the couple. Yeah. So it, it's also maybe a sign that the, of innocence yeah. or of no tape existing because it would be very bold to come out and say there is no tape when deep down you know there is a tape, a tape yeah because yeah, then you are forcing the accused hand to reveal the tape let's try calling please connect me to the road who's who this call. jackie yeah jackie, jackie. I've oh. Got a number. I just realized. oh nice oh yeah yeah because yeah. yeah. you had on the show right yeah because yeah, yeah. she hasn't said a thing i mean yeah. they've made statements to no, say it's only fair. this is a victory for the bullied online and stuff mm. so yeah so it's not just three era. it's not just two era. yeah okay. it's not just podcast day you can Sued exactly, so she has to pay them. Ne? She has to hmm? pay them. Ne? I don't know if she has to pay them, uh, but I didn't read the, the, the full verdict. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's, I think she has to pay. But she'll, yeah, but she won't even yeah. go to jail, man. I mean, mm. it's not a criminal... It wasn't a criminal case. It was civil, I think. Mm. But yeah. can't it lead her to having jail time? Nah. If she doesn't pay? Nah. Or something like but that. But she can pay whatever she she can afford. That's another thing. Yeah. In the sentencing, there's a sentencing that's awaiting to happen. I think on the first of November. Okay. You have reached. Ah no. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It would have been nice to speak to her. It would have been great to speak to her. Yeah, fact yes, checker. Fact checker. Fact checker. Ring yes. it. Um, it is a civil case against them, but as for jail time, we're not sure. The verdict was supposed to be taken out today on the twenty second of October, oh, sorry. but there hasn't been anything out as yet, so mm. we're still waiting. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay, cool. All right, cool. No, she's not answering. I tried again. Is she not? Yeah. Hey, but that episode was crazy. You know, till this day, people still ask me about that episode. <laughs> Yeah. The one I shot with Jake. Hockey club, yeah. Yeah. I don't she said a lot man. of things. Hey. Yeah, wow, man. Anyway, uh, Ghost Lady, what else you got so for us? So, another trending stories that happened during the week um, that captured my attention. So, now, um, it looks like um, the divorcee, um, Mini Lamini, and Quentin Jones. So, so there's still a huge battle going on. And it's reported that um, Quentin is even demanding that Mini pays him a mere and reasonable 10,000 rand in spousal support plus the custody of the, of their son, Netta. Mm. So just when we thought, okay, this guy is doing well, now he's requesting 10,000 rand and what is the guy doing? What What is he? Yeah, what's going is, on there? Does anyone know working? what's going on? What happened like, there? I don't know what happened there. Yeah. Yeah, but Ooh, Do you, you, so you guys know him from the industry, right? No, like, ah, I so never, never, never met him. Never, I don't even know what he does. Know. I just knew he's a producer, hot shot. Oh, he's a producer. You know, like said a... he's got money. Yeah, working with Urban Brew. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, he's American. Oh, okay. You know that? No, no, I didn't. I don't he... know anything about him, bro. Yeah, he's American. Uh, yeah. Came to South Africa to work uh, on obviously TV and stuff. Oh, wow. And he worked with uh, Urban Brew as a producer. That that's where then their relationship brewed in those. Things. <laughs> <laughs> in those urban studios. That's, that's where the relationship grew. Like, literally, literally. 10,000 rands or dollars? Rands. 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 Okay. Rands. okay. Yeah, for him to be, yeah. that was my thing. Like, for him to be requesting 10,000 rand, like... But where was, does the notion that he has money come from? Um, I, I guess it was just rumors from the beginning. You know, when they got together, yeah. they made it sound like yeah, some Yeah, and also, like, shot. you said Minnie's an it Yeah, girl. So Minnie's an it girl. Money, let's be honest, though. Mm. Right? So yeah. Mary, would she marry someone without money? I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Mm. So, I mean, it really makes sense. But, like you said, it clearly... Because if he, he... I hope he knows what he has to do in court to be successful to claim spousal support. You need to show that you can't afford... Uh, uh, you need to show that... You were sorted M. Shatwini with, you know, um, the cost of living. And you need to show that you don't have an income and you're not employable. Mm. Like Mary J. Blige, you know, she's paying 30,000 US dollars in spousal yeah. support um, to her ex-husband because yeah. he showed that he's unemployable. So sometimes, like you, you married to a lady. And 10 years down the line, she's home raising the kids while you're out there working, doing your thing, securing the gigs and bags. And maybe she was a business person or she had a job. And 10 years down the line, she's older. You know, chances of getting a job are far lesser. She hasn't earned, in theory, her own money, even though your money is her money because yeah. you're married. And you're in the same household. Then if she can prove that in court, then you have valid claims. And the court does not look at whether you 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 go balls, you're a man, or no, just looks at two two parties as a unit, and who was making the money for them, and if the one person can prove that they are in a worse position financially and are limited in terms of making a living on their own outside of this marriage, then you can claim from the one who has it better. Are you talking from experience, Doug? No. Yeah, no. I, yeah, spoke, to lawyer, like, and I was spoke to a yeah. lawyer on car 959 on the oh, breakfast. Okay. 959 so breakfast. Oh, breakfast. Why don't you trust me with the knowledge? <laughs> yeah. What, what do you mean? Then he gets shocked. Hey, then he gets shocked. You're going in detail. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you've got a, a valid case. Oh, yeah. And people you. like this thing, hey, we're out, we're out. 
Hey, bro, but I mean, when he went in, he was making money and yeah. maybe things changed within the relationship. And sometimes within a marriage, you have to decide. Mm. Sometimes you don't want, you want one of the two of you to be closer to the kid. Mm. You know what yeah. I mean? As opposed to um, delegating that to a helper, yeah. right? And sometimes you have to decide that, okay, when you go out there, you make more money than if I would go out there. So I'll handle things. And not saying that was the case, yeah. but this that needs to have been the case for him to successfully get spousal support. So it's safe to say that Quinton's an expense now? Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. But they're saying she's fighting, right? Yeah. And, hey, and the, did you see her, her Instagram post yeah. saying um, that uh, she posted with her son, I think, by the pool. And uh, she said, how dare someone tries to separate a mm. mom from a child? Uh, that was me on yeah. Instagram. Okay. But I mean, another thing to me, it's like if, he, he's, gonna, if he's going the legal route, Clearly, he knows something we don't because mm. you can't just want to take. And also, you're going to need to bring forth compelling evidence. Exactly. Right? And how is she Compulsive. making money now? What is she doing now to make money? Didn't she have a club or a, a restaurant yeah, that she I know opened? she had a club at some yeah. point. It was reported. And ah, man, they're laundering money she's there. Doing she's just games. a face there. Come on, man. Oh. Where does Mini get money to start a club? Come but on, he man. knows. But he Remember, knows. He knows. He knows. He knows what... She's up to, hey. you know? Because yeah, when you're married, yeah, like yeah. when you're married, <laughs> man, when you're married, you're born in literally, you're born in Lana's own cuisine, though, you know, yeah. like, you're born in Lana's own cuisine. check it, what do you want to say? So he knows, he's got proof. Um, I just checked out Quentin Jones' net worth just to see exactly why he would need the 10000 And he's worth $3 million, which is estimated to be about um, $45.4 million. Whoa, 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 what's the source, though? I um, mean, there's so many... The source is IOL, Buzz, South Africa, and Briefly News. So I checked three we sources. Like IOL. We like IOL. We like IOL. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I all got the source from some, got that information from somewhere because they don't it's, value people's networks. Let's, let's be honest. I checked three sources, which is briefly news, briefly also as South Africa and IOL, and then the South African dot com. But hmm. they're stating that Mini is worth five million dollars. Allegedly. Yeah. Hey. Yes. Hey man, how are these people making money? I haven't seen Mini do anything in a while, bro. Uh, she's mini man. Yeah. Damn. Hey, she's mini man. I'm sure man. she's a face of something as well. Face know? of what? <laughs> something. Lux. Uh, <laughs> or something. That no. Could be a big. That could be a yeah, huge she bag. Could, she was, um, yeah, yeah Mini has worked. It's done a lot she's of things. She's got some gigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but mean, she, she also spends money. Like you work and you spend money. It's not like you work and you just keep that money until. But you don't know how they're saving. Maybe it was what Quentin's have. money. Now he was like, ha, hey, I am paying them much, you're shit. You fool it out, Konami. Right? But also, 10,000 rand is, 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 is not a lot, man. If in the yeah, it's not a lot. Of things, you know? yeah. Especially for a guy who was reportedly worth that amount. So he, so he could also just be doing it to spite her. What, what do you guys think about this new trend where um, honeys are trapping rich niggas with kids? So, it's been happening. It's been happening. Ah, yeah, it's, it's been an old happening. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And niggas trapping honeys with kids. Or think they can trap honeys with kids and they get a shock. Oh, yeah. But what do you think when the honey has a one night stand with the rich guy, right? Calls the nigga, says, I'm pregnant. The nigga says, Listen, I don't want the kid. Please get rid of it. She keeps the baby. Mm. Baby comes and then she goes on social media saying, He's not paying for the spousal support. Mm. Deadbeat. Yes, it's yes. Dead but when he clearly said, I want nothing to do with this kid. Ideally, yes, he should have he should have used protection, you know. So, but also, I always say it goes back to women. We suffer the consequences, and that's why you need to yourself take care of yourself first. You understand? Like protect yourself from. Yeah, but those... what woman would want to walk right into single motherhood? Yeah. What woman would want to walk right into single mother? mother? But those are ones who impregnated by a rich nigga. You just said it. Yeah, you just said it. Some a lot of women make that bad decision, and you're not thinking of the repercussions that this is a whole child that will grow. Dude, you know, it's, at that point you're just thinking you're yeah, being spiteful. It's like, oh, you say I must abort. Oh no, I'm gonna keep it. And just thinking, and it's like, but this thing is an ongoing issue, and a lot of people are, have kids from those decisions. Oh. Yeah, it's tricky, man. Because eh? the one. guy did say, I'm phony, mm, mm. whatsoever. But also, now I 
the Russian Amaskun. Exactly, exactly. A portion is heavy, man. Yeah. You know? A portion is heavy spiritually and otherwise. So yeah, so you can't just tell someone have an abortion. Mm. Yeah. It's it's a very heavy, heavy thing, and you guys need to carry the burden and exactly. sometimes you know. You know what I mean? So niggas must also fucking think twice. Unless you you agree, the two of you agree that so shy sonor and then whatever happens, we're gonna abort. Okay, sharp. But yeah. to just sonor her and then someone just say, yeah, have an abortion, you know, it's a bit unfair. You must yeah. discuss it before. Yeah. Because mm. at the end of the day. Because sometimes you find that the woman is like, ah, you know what? I'm at a certain age. Why would I? What if I'm not going to have um, another kid, you know? So it's, all, it's, it's, it's a lot of these mm -hmm. issues that come into play. Mm -hmm. But then again, it goes back to from the beginning, you need to practice the safest route, you know? And instead of going that thing, or having to be left with such decisions. Got you. And potentially having to make those decisions alone because you are... Abandoned by the man. All right, so since it's Heritage Day, I got a game I want to play. I want to oh. see how well you guys know your heritage, you and Sol. Are you guys ready? Okay. Okay. Yeah? Wow. Yeah. Who do you have your money on, guys? S and P. Thank you. Got you. your money on Coasty. Coasty. Yeah. So okay, uh, hands up if you got your money on Sol. S and P. Everyone except the ladies. <laughs> Wow, y'all are haters. <laughs> wow. Just wow. to be honest. Uh, all right, oh, cool. Okay, Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Let's go. Uh, Let's go. The late King Goodwill <laughs> Casualatini had wives. What is the name of his wife that gave birth to his son who later became king? Uh, it's Makhamini, man. Mazamin. It's Jamini, yeah, Makamini. She's a yeah, king. She's, uh, uh, from, uh, she's Swati. She's, she's a king from Eswati. Sobuza's daughter. Uh, yes. Ghost the lady, who are you saying? Mazamin. Mazamin. <laughs> you just follow Exo. <laughs> she's oh Makamini. She's uh, King Sobuza's, uh, you know Sobuza, the, um, uh, uh, the Swati king's late dad. Yes. Right? Yes. Oh, had like a hundred or whatever sisters. wives. Yeah. So, yeah, she's uh, 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 his daughter. Hmm? She's Sobuza's sister. No, I'm saying the uh, the Swati King's sister. <laughs> yes. No, no, she's right. Swati King's sister. Yes. And she's that right. and that is correct. It okay. is Queen Mantofombi. Manto, 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 yeah, Manto, 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 Manto. Zamini, yeah. who's also King Swati's third, the third's little sister. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Yeah. At number two, one of SA's top leaders married a woman who's named. The first lady of two nations. What is her name? Um, uh, Grasha, Grasha Michelle. Grasha Michelle. Grasha Michelle. Yes. Is that yes. the Grasha final Michelle. answer? Yeah. Grasha Michelle. And that is correct. Grasha Michelle. Yeah. Grasha Michelle. She was the first wife of Samora, Samora Michelle. Michelle. From Michelle, yeah. Mozambique. Uh, the former president of Mozambique before marrying President Nelson Mandela. Number three. We have a football team in this country's top division named after a king. What is its name? After a king. After a king. Ghost lady. Don't look at Saul. Kaiser. No, no, no. Amazulu. Amazulu. So Penduka. Roba Fuken. Roba Fuken. You yeah. both are wrong. You both are wrong. No, they no, are man. definitely not wrong. What Fuken. is it? It's Se Kuku Ke. Oh, it's Kuku Ne. It's Kuku Ne. Roba Fuken is a stadium. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. Se Kuku Ne United Kukune. FC. Oh. Okay. Who's yeah. that? Do you know him? Yeah, the, 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 the king of Grab it, Mike. King of Pedis. Yeah, Steve. Uh-uh. You're lying. Uh, says so the king of uh, the Pedi Nation. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So cool. so is cool. he still king now? Is he, is he well, passed on? The, the Sukukune family still. Yeah, yeah just more so Sukukune. Mm. You know, just more. Show him Sukukune. Oh, just more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, wow. it's um, Muleke Sukukune. Yeah. Yeah. Sukukune, my All right. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Number four. There's a king who made headlines recently saying he wanted to retire from his throne and wants his wife to take over. What is his name? A king from where? Ah, oh, that's gonna be giving the answer. <laughs> a king answer. Who wanted to retire. There's a king who made headlines recently saying he wanted to retire from his throne and wants his wife to take over. What is his name? A king wants to abdicate the throne. Yes. Five, four, two, three, one. So, Penduka, give me a name. Give me a name. Give me a name. I don't, I don't know. He doesn't I'll know. Try the, the, the Royal Bafu King. Royal Bafu King. Never. Royal Bafu King. 
The answer is King Buye Lekaya Dalinjebo of the Abba Tembu from the Eastern yeah. Cape. You know he smokes weed, right? For real. Yeah, yeah. he's like the cool king who smokes weed. Yeah. He smokes lots of weed. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. So oh. it's it's two two, ne? Yes. It's two two so far. Okay. Oh, it's one one or two two? One one. One one, ne? One, okay, so, one, one, so this one, is the decider now. One, one, one. This is the decider. Last one. Uh, what is... Okay, surely if you're a football fan, you're aware of the name Skidi. It's famous. Apparently, there's a king who's named Skidi when he was growing up. What is his name? Uh, Shaga. Shaga Zulu. And you, ghost lady? Ah, uh, Shaga Zulu also. Ah, <laughs> uh, you can't say Shaga Zulu also. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I should have never said Shaga. Yeah, yeah, exactly. not said anything. No, you. Uh, Nyambosi? Okay, okay, not Nyambosi. <laughs> Nyambosi? <laughs> Nyambosi? Um. Bakeba. Bakeba. Okay. Which one are you going for? No, no, I'm, I'm, no, no, no. I'm going to go for the, the Abba Tembu uh, King. The Abba Tembu King. Talin you have? Huh? King Talin you have? Yeah, Talin Chebo. Well, well, well. You are wrong, ghost lady. I know, I know I'm wrong. I'm just. <laughs> So the winner is why are you, why are you soccer. You see, the, the, what makes us unfair is that you made this all about soccer. Ah, uh, it was all it. Like you soccer. lost me on sports. Uh, yeah, oh, you no, lost it. me on but sports. But we lost the question. You yeah? must know But we no. both lost the soccer question. No, I thought the you were going to ask question. like, you know, what is the clothing item called, you know, that we wear on traditional, you know? Oh, okay, so okay, 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 okay. Fred Chica, you give us one from a female perspective or, or do do. One last question. Do do, you want to take it? You want to take it? Make it heritage. Yes. Not like soccer. Yeah. There was one at, So, at so you can win fame. Fame square. Yeah, yeah. There was one Don't worry, I got questions. you. I got, yeah, I got there you. Was, Don't worry. There was three. Ah, uh, there was one. Three football questions. All right, what's the, what's the question? So Did, why do married Zulu women wear on their heads? What do married Zulu women wear on their heads? Penduka. Married Zulu woman. Married Zulu woman. Uh, Penduka. Married Zulu woman, please answer. <laughs> Ah, I'm afraid this question is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a name! Oh, Shulek, you're a Shulek? You're a Shulek? You're a Shulek? You're a Shulek? Eh? Yeah, I'm a Shulek, I wouldn't know what they wear in there. Actually, we've worn it. It's Kolo. You <laughs> It's Kolo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what is it called? Please call us. It's Kolo. It's Kolo. Yes. Oh, what is that? Yes. In, in Tunjan? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, if you're not married, I would go down there. Yeah, no, no, you don't. You're not supposed to. Well, dude, you need a mic. We can't. People can't hear you. You keep talking and we can't hear you. You need okay. to be on the mic. So, okay, basically what Dudu is saying wow. is that only married um, people are supposed to wear. But you know, in this world of tradition and we just like to embrace each other's tradition and just wear, just to look cute. So people end up like, you You buy it from whatever tribe, yeah, whatever you like, and you so. forget that actually this is Womte, so it's, it's got a meaning. So you know in Shaka, wow. when, when you're still a virgin, you walk around naked. Yes. When you're Zul, does that still happen? Um, With your well, bib, like breasts exposed. Yeah. Yes, yeah, in Dombi. That's obviously that go to your shoulder, which is the virginity testing. They do that, yeah. So you are, you're is. topless, yeah. Basically, uh, you're topless, and maybe you just wear a, um, like a, just a small little material that you just cover the front, but otherwise, you Did you do that? And it's safe. Yes, yes. Oh, wow. I did virginity testing. Damn. Yes, how, Damn. how was that like? What do they do? They check you. you know? At what age did you stop going there? Um, when we moved as a family this side to, because remember I moved with my whole family in my teens, and then I came back to we came to Pretoria. Is that, so it must be from like an age of like I think nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen hours. It must be uncomfortable day. having someone in there and. Dude, do you have a mic? They're not. <laughs> dude, dude. <laughs> one show, one show. Has dude, a we need four. <laughs> yeah, it's about it's addictive. We need four mics from now on, yeah. Kanye, how, how uncomfortable is that thing? Um, it's actually very, more, very prideful. Like, you forget that. It's not, the, it's not like someone is in there. It's like you just, you know, the ladies check and they go, okay. How do they that? check? They just look? Yes, because like, your hymen is still intact. That's how they see. So they don't, like, open? Uh, no, no, no. They don't get They don't touch nothing. No, no, they just no. look. How deep yeah. do they go in? What do you mean? There's no, there's no entry. No one is penetrating. They just look at the hymen. Yes. So the hymen is observed from outside. Yes, I guess so. I told so, you, I, so you just open and then they look. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. That's wild, bro. I know it's quite weird. Like I, actually, when I think back, I'm like, why this is a weird one. I can't, but it's weird. Was pride. You were you were beaming. Yeah, pride. you were pride. It was a, it was something that you do out of like pride, like and say, okay, you know. Yeah. So if a girl says I'm a virgin, you can ask her, can I look at your hymen? 
You must be high, man. <laughs> Trouble. Who does that? Go out. Can I look at your hymen? Hey, can I see your hymen? But I, I later learned I had a friend who I would care, like we met up, and I think it was in my twenties. And I'm like, oh, so where did where did you end up with the whole virginity testing? And she was like, ah, the last time I went there, I was 16, and they said I'm a virgin, but I was pregnant. Oh, oh and I was like, yo. Really? Yeah. Uh, so that's when I was like, hey. Uh, uh, yeah. So uh, it's giving Zimbabwe. Yeah. It's giving Zimbabwe. Uh, yeah. it's giving Zimbabwe. No, I'm sure they absolutely. Hey, you've Zimbabwe. had your hand up for a while, fact checker. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, fact checker. Um, I was going to ask like two questions. Ah, right, cool. Go ahead. The first one is what is the totem for Zulu people, and the second one is what is co- what is the celebration of a woman becoming in Zulu in Zulu culture. This is uh, a part totem, of the game. The total mm. animal is... Totem. Yeah. The, the you, totem you, is... You, you've overtaken my game. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but you gave them the, an opportunity um, to ask. The, yeah, the Iskalo one was already said. Oh, okay, okay, I get so, you, I get you. It's, totem animal yes. for the Zulus. Where are we go? That's what I was Elephant. thinking as well. I, I oh, <laughs> why don't you say it first? <laughs> no, 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 I don't think so. I, I, I think that's wrong. It's, I think it's, it's wrong. I thought elephant, because they say when I go over. But it's also the king wears so. leopard skin, though. Yes. Wow. What are you guys Pubes. talking about? What are you guys Maybe talking about? Maybe the king wears. I'll say pubes. A totem. I'll say, I'll say what's a, what's a, a totem? What's a totem? I, I like what I'm represents s- the tribe, you know? Maybe it could be an animal. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, okay. Yes. I'm, I think I'm spot on on, 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 <laughs> on leopard. On leopard. <laughs> Ghosty, what's your answer? I'll say ipubesi. I'm going lion. <laughs> It's a pubesi is a lion. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Saul was right. It's a leopard. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the president wears leopard. Remember, I mean, the, the king, they wear leopard. Wow. Yeah, and leopards. then the second one is, what's the celebration of a woman becoming in Zulu? What is it? I know, I know, I know. E, 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 e. Where they put money on her. Yes. Uh, I know what it's called. There's it's called... No, it's not um slow yana. Uh uh, wait. Uh-huh. Um, memulo, memulo, memulo. That's the word, um, memulo. Memulo. Where they yes. put money on her head. Yes. I know, um, memulo. Memulo. They put, memulo. Why do they put money, can you? Why do they put money on your head? Um, it's just part of the celebration. It's it's just to honor you, it's like gifts, you know? Just gifts. So how much is money for head? No, no, it's, it's, no, 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 no. I need to bring money no. for him. It's either petrol, 10 rand, 10 rand, 20, whatever you pin. You can pin any money. 50 uh, rand, 20 rand, depending on how much you have. 10 rand for your head. Ah, it's not It's 1.5. Sure. Which one is this one? Yeah, 1.5. I say, Mac. He wanted money for him. I must pee with Adam Memulo. 1.5. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 please connect your uh, your phone. We need to call uh, the chillers because, yeah, we're starting to find a chiller today. Oh, don't. Yes, nice. we need to I call them. To the stories, yes, man. yes, yes. Nice yes. Say email, not DM, not tweet, not DM on Facebook, on Messenger, on Twitter, on Instagram. Email, right? No, no, no. Website. 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 Oh, no, 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 There's email. a link. Yes. Website. This is MacG.com. So You'll these find Fundy Chill. Yes. Oh, brilliant. brilliant. So, uh, based on our membership, we made 21,760 rands this month Woo! Keep on, on our membership. Yes. <laughs> Keep on uh, being members. Keep on signing up for membership. So wow. right now well we're going to give away uh, maybe about 10K each to two uh, chillers. Mm. Wow. First one is Pumlani Tabula of Sisonke Nati Group. He would like to host a fun day outreach for orphans in Alex. Mm. They are planning to purchase school bags with stationery for a thousand children wow. for the upcoming school year. Uh, so let's give him a call. Tabula, well done, man. Yeah, man. Beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. We are funding a chiller. Yay. This is where all your money is going Yay. to. So make sure you do become a member so we raise more funds so we can have more chillers. So we're giving out the Pumlani 5,000. 10,000. 10,000. Hey, you're on fire today, eh? Hey. I'm always on fire. What do you mean? This one is spot on. Yeah. Someone, can you look nice in our Heritage Day outfit? Well, thank you. you. Voice mail. Okay, it's voicemail. Vendor vibe. All right, congratulations Ooh. to Pumlani. Congratulations. All right, let's go to the second chiller, Melissa. All right. Melissa. Let me Melissa type. Who? Melissa who? Tamaye. T H A 
M A E. And what did she say? Tamai. She's do? Tamai. I'll tell you now while we call her. Melissa Tamai. Here we go. She's a 21 year old who's undergoing a long and costly process of onboarding as a crew member of the Starboard Cruise Services in South Carolina mm. in the US in October. Starboard Cruise Service. What's that? Oh. I think it's one of those she, cruise. She, yeah, she oh, those, in, oh, oh, yeah, cruise. Yeah, she cruise. Oh. She wants to work in a cruise ship. Yeah. So she oh. requires assistance in purchasing oh. plane tickets. Wow. Wow. Hey, Melissa, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Great, man. Welcome. You're live on the podcast. Soul is here. Coast ladies. Yeah. Yeah, hey, hey, Melissa. Tamaye. Yeah, man, we just want to say congratulations. The chillers have pulled through for you. We are going to be assisting you in getting your plane tickets so you can go on that starboard cruise. Oh. No ways, no ways, guys. Oh. Yeah. Joking. Pagama, Sheila, it's happening. Hey, it's happening. It's happening. Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Melissa. Yes, son. Are you dating someone? Because I know, like, uh, on those cruise, yo, yanyo, like, wow. <laughs> no, like, no, for real, for real. No, I'm single, so. Good. No, for real, like, hey, uh, let me not say, I know someone who works here. Hey. 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 So, so thanks to the chillers, we're going to send you about 10,000 rands uh, and some change. Uh, is that enough for your plane ticket? Because I know it's quite expensive to go to America. So um, I did Google uh, the plane tickets. They range between 13000 to 16000 So um, it should be enough because month end of, um, month end of what, September, yeah. I am expecting money from uh, where I was working. So it should be about 5000 rand. Oh. So I think all, all in all together, yeah, it should be enough. And how long are you going to be on the cruise for? So my contract is for six months, but I can always renew it whenever I want to. Wow. Oh, fantastic. Well I went to good set my... Good luck. Well yeah. Good luck. Well done. Good luck. Thank wow, you so much. Beautiful, man. Please keep in touch, man. Send us some content. It gets wild on those ships, man. Yeah. Of course, I will. I will definitely be uploading some content on my uh, Instagram at, 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 at I like it underscore T. I like it underscore okay, cool. Please spell, that. Us, please. Yeah, please spell that so people can follow your journey. So it's A-L-A... K-H-E underscore T-double-E. Where does that come from? Because your name is Melissa. So I like it is my um, traditional name. I like name. it. Yes, oh. I like it. Oh, are you Zulu? I'm Kasa. How do you guys get your virginity tested? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, well, we don't go like um, in Dabeni, like the, the guys, we don't. But I mean, we just go to like the clinic and stuff. And what do they do to you at the clinic? Clinic. Where you to buy a bula? But you can just say right. Bafula, ni bafula. I will make tea. That's crazy. Bula tree. I shout out to you, Melissa. Congratulations once again. All right, well done, Melissa. Thank you. So, would you guys be in contact with me via email or? Yes, yes. Label our. Um, what does Label do? What does she even do? Bro? Who's Label? Sales, sales. She does sales. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Label is gonna be in contact and give you all the details. All right. Who's Label? Oh, all right. Thank you so much, you guys. Just made my day. Oh my god. Like today, I went to fetch my visa at DHL, and everything just felt so so surreal. So I'm really wow, grateful. Man. Congratulations once again. All right. Make some noise for Melissa. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you so much. Melissa. Oh, the other chiller's calling. Yeah, put him on. Pumlani What's his name? Tabula. Pumlani. Pumlani Tabula. Put him on, bro. Oh, man. I wanted to go on those cruise once uh, upon a time. You've when... been on old ship? No, no, like to work. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Make sure you're bro. single. Where would you work? Would you, what would you do? Relationships get I don't tested. Know, man. Yeah. I was going through the most. I was like, ah, let me go on a cruise, find myself. Oh, okay. Hey, Pumlani, how are you, brother? Pumlani. Oh, and then? Oh, oh, it's his network. It's his network, no? Load shedding. Hear me? We can hear yeah, you, man. but you're breaking, bro. Okay, can I call you back? Oh, there we go. We can hear you. How are you, Pumlani? I'm good. How are you? Good, man. You're live on the podcast. Sol is here. Ghost Lady's here, brother, man. Pumlan. Ah, oh, wait, wait, wait. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Great, man. Congratulations. The Chillers have awarded you 10,000 rand. Yes. Oh, Pumlan. Pumlan. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, guys. So, so is that gonna help you? Because I know you're trying to buy stationery and school bags for a thousand children in Alex, yeah? Yes, yes, we are. Like we are. Um, we basically like an NPO, and um, we started like seven years ago, and um, we just like do outreach programs like every month, 
you know, like um, in April, we collect um, Easter eggs for like kids from disadvantaged backgrounds. Wow. And also um, like orphanages. And then June, and then youth day, we have like an event with the youth and stuff. And then also recently, I mean, on Sunday, this coming Sunday, we have now Heritage Day for 50 um, elderly uh, citizens for oh. like in Alexandra and stuff. So we're going like on a road trip, and then we'll have like some lunch and wow. yeah. Bro, how did you be? How did you become a chiller? You sound focused, bro. Yeah, bro. Is it? Like um, the episode that caught me was the triple kumbi one. Oh, that was like, funny. Yeah. <laughs> Not the triple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Triple kumbi. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on the podcast. Strong the decisions. <laughs> yeah, the one because he he left the house with the bread and his wife was waiting for him. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, shout out to you, man. Shout out, bro. Shout out. Yeah, during lockdown. All right, cool. One love to you, man. Thank you so much for the love, bro. Uh, thank you, man. You guys are the best. Well done. Paul. Oh, we. All right, so we're all getting behind the box to make it back-to-back -back wins to defend their crown on the world stage. Show your support by betting on the spring box and we'll cover your bet. Risk free, Sol mm. Penduka. Wow, beautiful. All thanks to Betway. So make sure you claim the offer and place a 25 Rand or more outright bet on South Africa to win the cup uh, by the 20th of October and get it risk free up to 1,000 Rands. Beautiful. T's and C's do apply. Claim the offer to qualify cash bets only. Risk free bet returns awarded on the 30th of October, 2023. And big shout out to Betway. They sponsor the Onside Soccer Podcast every Friday, wow. 3 p.m., brought to you by Betway, exclusive to the Podcast and Chill Network. Beautiful. Do you think the box are gonna win again this year? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. You're looking good. Nah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, we haven't played strong teams. Romania. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Scotland is strongish, but it was a good, solid win. Mm -hmm. Romania obviously was, uh, 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 you know, we dismantled them completely. Yeah. We just, yeah. Um, and now we're gonna play Ireland, right? Yeah. 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 I think we're gonna win, man. I've got a good feeling about this team. Uh, what else you wanna talk about, my dog? They're coming for Tim Ballard. Tim Bellard, give me a gunge. Who's Tim Bellard? Underground, um, Operation Underground Railroad. Which one is that one? Sound of Freedom. Oh, yes, yes. The guy you interviewed. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes the yes, guy yes. who's exposing um, child course, sex trafficking was... rings, et cetera, oh. all over the world, from Africa to Hollywood to all over, who's been saving millions of, well, not millions, yeah, but and, lots and, of and, kids. and Saul interviewed him. I don't know what episode, but make sure you check it out. Yeah. It's, it, the title is Sound of Freedom. Yeah, just search within the network, you'll find it. Sound yes. of Freedom, incredible movie. Um, Hollywood uh, wouldn't put it on. The and a beautiful interview you did today. Thank you. Yeah. Um, that guy is now being uh, 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 um, charged with sexual yeah. misconduct. Yeah, they always do that. They always do that. It's all this play in the book. So now it makes me think of all the other guys who've always been charged with these uh, things. Bro, they're doing the same thing. And I'm with like, you're uh, using the wrong thing because there's like serious victims out there. And now, you know, they they uh, they did the same thing. They're doing the same thing to Russell Brand. Oh yes, Russell, Russell Brand. Brand. Yeah, 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 so Russell Brand has been talking about how the um, mm. what does Entertainment call it? The the Matrix. The Matrix. Yeah. The Matrix yeah. yeah, talking about all the companies that run the world. BlackRock. I forgot about all the other companies. What does BlackRock do? They own everything, everything in the world, so they run the world. So he was exposing BlackRock and what those companies do, the shit they get up to on like mainstream media. Whoa. And they can't have that. So after he did that, then the rape charges started, Yo. sexual misconduct, same shit they did to Andrew Tate, yeah. you know, the yeah, same yeah, stuff. Yeah, Andrew Tate, Andrew yes. Tate was found innocent, right? Yeah. yeah. It's starting to be clear now. Yeah. The modus operandi is out there, it's clear. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. That's man. what they do. If you go against the system, Rape. Yeah, coming for Tim Bellard, man. Crazy, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah. And then did you see uh, there's a syndicate? When last were you on the dating app? Ah, it's been a while. Bro. Tinder and them. Ah, it's been so a there's while. a syndicate on Grinder, which is I didn't even know uh that there's a, an app called Grinder. It's like for gay dudes or LGBTQI people. Yeah. And then there's this one kid from Vets. He got lured in, you know, and then Jiggy Jiggy, they found him unconscious at a man. Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, you need to move my car. Brad oh, Dave. Askis, oh, Askis, Brad Dave, Askis, Askis. He's checking if there's no... No, you, you can um, take my car. I'll, I'll take one of yours. Monila Mangan. Hey! He's going to unwrap the Porsche. <laughs> it's wrapped in there because... Yeah. <laughs> Monila Mangan, you're Brad Dave. Like, no, you're blow job. Monila Mangan is like... <laughs> no, I'm not saying... 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 I'm not saying
Then it's on your foot. Ah, I pretend. Don't worry, we're good. No, no. Ah, we're the clean show today. Yeah, no sexual intercourse or no activities. Mm. Yeah. No, not even intercourse. Nothing. Yeah. No blowjobs. Mm. No you are let's But if I'm here, I am watching. Yeah. Mario, yeah. can't blame me. That episode. <laughs> but Pratev, that episode I was possessed. Now me, I don't know what happened. What keep you mad? What keep you mad, EJ? How? <laughs> hey, money for head. <laughs> the only money for head is he takes out nuts when he goes to Memulo. You know, they put money on the head. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, sorry. Make money come here with care. No, 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 no what care? Oh, no, no, he's four. No, he's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Uh, yes, sorry, man. Sounds interesting what you're saying. Yeah? yeah, bro. So there's this syndicate now. That's what they do. They go on dating apps, and then uh, obviously people you like, you know, you meet the person. You eventually want to meet the person you've been talking to, and then yeah, and uh, the guys got abducted. The guy got abducted, and then um, obviously this is an essay. Yeah, they wow. found him at vets, men's race, bro. Wow. It's a vet student. Yeah, joined this date gay app, and then. Things didn't go as straightforward as you thought they would. <laughs> and then the guys were found at an ATM. So obviously there was the, 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 the chatting with the guys on, okay, they wanted 30,000 rands and uh, they were trying to withdraw it. And then the police pounced, you know, Hilbert Police Station, so the guy Fidelity from, Security Group and other... So the guy from this, what's he doing on the app? He's looking for a gay lover or a okay. gay fling or a gay one-night stand. And then he gets them and then... And then he gets the guy, yeah. you know, ping, message from cool. um, Tamba. You know what I mean? It's like, ah, Tamba, what's going on, boy? Ah, fine. Great, do I not show? Yes, Shangana, or whatever. Yeah. And then obviously, when they meet Shangana, he gets kidnapped. Yo! Yeah. Seven guys got arrested. So why are they specifically going for gays? I have no idea. I don't know if there are only... This will happen on Grindr. Mm. That's the, the, the app uh, for uh, the gay community. Or more. I don't know. I don't know what the app is all yes. about, you know. But um, I don't know if why they're targeting those people. I don't know if they only operate there. But mm. this is the case. That oh, the, maybe they use other... Maybe they also the, use generally. Yeah, but the story hasn't come out. Yeah, yeah. so okay. they, maybe generally they use... All That's why. That's crazy, bro. And I've so, never met people. I, I I I was on Tinder once, and I've, I I just get bored. I'm a like, fuck. Now I need to meet you. Oh, nah, I'm not interested. So you think you're going out on a date, Gandhi? Yo. Gandhi, you, yeah. The mandate. Well, it is a mandate if it's <laughs> to drop <laughs> the mandate of the other person is nefarious. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> don't want a mandate. Oh, Sorry, too but there's a clear mandate. But he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Hey man, with so it's, with, it's, it's wild. Anyway, with all with these, bank. with all. Bang suge. Bang suge. Bang suge. You understand? Bang suge. Bang suge. Uh, so with all these events uh, uh, shutting down and being cancelled and postponed, okay. we thought we'd chat. To, uh, we thought we'd chat to Glenn Twenty One. He's like one of the biggest promoters uh, in SA to, yeah. to 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 understand what's happening, wow. man. I just think like people need a good excuse to leave the house now, bro. You reckon? Yeah, and there's no money, bro. Yeah, true. In you are you combined. Ah, the economy bro. is bad. Cyril's economy is the worst. Yeah. Man. It's horrible. But you get the shows that do sell out, you know. But I think maybe some shows are just ambitious, you know. Like for instance, this one, yeah, um, Burner. Mm. I think, yeah, with the... Yeah, but yeah. guys, burn up boy. f and Stadium, come on. Yeah. 90,000 people. And this was people. announced now, like in, was it um, July, ne? Yeah. It was just... It now. I don't chances, think, I mean, yeah. burn up boy can... Also, I think he got fooled by the crowd at Delicious because remember, he headlined the, the yes, last Delicious, right? Yes. And then maybe they thought, okay, there's something here. I mean, he would do 20,000 clean. I mean, even now, the tickets sold were like 17,000. It's not 1,500. Oh, so it's not 1.5. It was purported. Now, nah, that oh, was a lie. Okay. 17,000. He could easily do an Orlando Stadium. But if it be 90,000 yeah. people. I mean, I know it's got a huge following, but hey, it's, it's a different situation here as opposed to the UK where there's obviously a huge... Nigerian diaspora, African yes, diaspora exactly. all together, and then they can do O2 Arena, right? But FNB, man, 90,000 South Africans. 
That is okay. Maybe not entirely South African. I know but personally, I was ambitious. reluctant to go because of what had happened previously. Remember, with the um, global uh, citizen, citizen, yes, people getting yeah, robbed, robbed and the, and the chaos stuff. that would happen outside. You know. Yeah. But I think uh, just like hip hop, eventing in this country, maybe worldwide, needs a restart, a reboot. Oh no, no, yeah. It's not enough just to say Burna Boy is coming. People might come on, man. Yeah. They so, Burner Boy's coming, and then? And then. So what? what? What's the experience? So yeah. the experience. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Zobanjani there. Yeah. You know? yeah. Boy alone is, you know? But I mean, great artists, great catalog, but I uh, still. And then that baby also. Oh, yeah. that baby. That baby. Remember, Mang that baby? Maybe Lil Baby, you know? Because <laughs> I know he's also big. That baby, though. That baby. Uh, there's Lil and the. Yes, there's Jeez. that baby. And Lil Baby. They're still coming. It's that. <laughs> There's gonna be a there. Oh, yeah. Then there's gonna be a the baby, like yeah. the baby. Like, and then them, baby. Them, <laughs> hey, them. Don't forget them, them. It's more than one yeah, baby, yeah. you know. No, but it's one. No, but it's them, baby. And their baby also. <laughs> and then our baby, guys. Ah, we need our baby. We need our baby. Oh, so <laughs> Hey man, we need babies, man. <laughs> ah, babies for the babies. Uh, let's for chat to Glenn 21, man. <laughs> and stop selling space cookie to kids. Hey, did oh. you see that? Stop fucking <laughs> wild. Stop. Who did that? Please Google, they were in court today. Today's Friday, they were in court. Please Google, let's name and shame them. These guys sell, sell to un to our babies. They <laughs> create our kids and they say buy one, get one free. <laughs> Granted, the muffins are laced with bloody weed. Ah. Space cookies. Now, 90 kids ended up in, in hospital. Yes, fact checker? Um, their names are not disclosed, but it's two suspects from... Um, who no, are they were in court today. The names are disclosed. Mm-mm. Is that briefly? <laughs> <laughs> search, so search, 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 search uh, uh, under Google. Mm. When you're done searching, say tools, and then say articles from the past 24 hours. Um, do you know how to do that? When did you see the story? I saw it during the week. You yeah. remember, like on on the radio, there's always people like a uh, news uh, oh, person yes. every hour telling yes, us the yes. news. And I, was I like, couldn't believe it when I heard it. Man. I'm like, I, could, no I thought it was in a high school. They're like, no, not even as primary school. Whoa. I'm like, that is sick. Maybe high nice. school, but primary school Yo, kids. Nice. Can you imagine how crazy they were so in class? <laughs> man, like, your five year old gets to grade R, like. Like, <laughs> no, guys. The last time I uh, no, uh, no, teacher. no, 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 no. Brave I'm scared of space cookies, yeah. bro. Bro, and, and also bear in mind. Whoa, when, no, when, man. Yeah, that's that's and, a painful high sometimes. It's like, yes, because edibles it's generally. Torturing. Yeah, edibles. Like yeah. When, when you eat the stuff, it's Ooh. more potent. Yeah. Because you know, it goes directly to the blood. Ooh. You know, when your, your, your body absorbs uh, all the nutrients and whatever is in the food. <laughs> That's South Africa is a potent. movie. Yeah. Yeah. Animals are more potent. They're than more it's, potent. They are not. Than, 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 than smoking, guys. It's, That's, it's painful. And I think the guys... Uh, look, and maybe this is my own theory, right? Yeah. Him. What? What are you doing? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Back there, man. What's going on? You're honest. Yeah. Like, Dude, you you're showing us some edibles. Dude, you're... Ponte, 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 so you disturbed us not to show us. Yeah, yeah you, you disturbed the show not to show us the weed. You made all that commotion not to show us the weed. No problem. Just give it to them. show the brand. It's fine. Just give it to them. So someone was selling lollipops, maybe. No, it was muffins. Who has this? Who's this? I have no idea. What is here? Yeah. yeah. And you, you found it in your bag and you have no idea. <laughs> okay. Let me see this. Do do found. Don't show the bread, Saul. He's gonna say. He's gonna say. <laughs> He's gonna say. I won't. I won't. <laughs> so who had the one half? <laughs> no one has just been speaking off my <laughs> hey, well, the whole the whole show, man. You're that's say, messed up. Unfortunately, Mr. Penduka, they do not disclose their names, but they do disclose their ages. It's a 21 year old and a 19 year old. This is bad. Man, hold on. Yeah, this is so bad. Okay. Oh, this is terrible, mm. Like, what are you searching, my dog? I'm searching for the names. Mm. You're doing fake checkers' job. Mm. You don't trust. 
You don't trust. Mm-mm. Mm. What's this new habit of speaking off mic, guys? I think yeah, we need to, yeah, we need yeah, to start yeah, banning yeah, people. Yeah. 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 Did you guys, did you guys yeah. see? It's the next person to speak off mic is taking the rest of that. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the space we... The rest of the space The space sucker. The space sucker. <laughs> oh, that is a trend yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> Are they taking the rest of... Dude, did you see uh, Kirk Franklin only found his father now? What? Yeah. Women are messed up, bro. Or well, some women are messed up. So Kirk Franklin thought someone else was his dad. All along, his dad was like five minutes from him. Wow. And then he just discovered him now. I watched this documentary. It's called uh, Father's Day on his YouTube channel. And he just discovered his father now. The mom never said a word. How crazy is that, man? Reminds me of David Carr. Remember when we interviewed David Carr? Oh, yeah, yeah. Same thing. David same Carr thing. found out his father is just <laughs> down the road. Yeah. Did yeah, you get the name? Crazy. I didn't, but the names are out there. <laughs> Okay, wait, wait, wait. Drop no, wait. No, no, no. Hold on. No, fuck off. Yeah. Fuck off. Fuck off. See? No, no, wait. No, wait, wait. Zero for Sol. No, for no, tech never. Tech hold on, hold on, hold on. Sol, zero. No, hold one. on, hold tech on. Tech checker hold, one. Hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, man. Hold on, man. Come on. And also, did you see Kulani um, Sizoktola is in court now? Oh, He's yes, out on bail, man. Yes, um, yes. May the brother stay strong. We're fighting crime. He was marching to the union buildings or somewhere, recently, I think. Recently. Yeah. yeah, recently, recently. Yeah, I found the names. Amukelani Nyalunga, who's 19, and Offensa Maluleka, who are 21, from Sosha, are selling space cookies to the kids, primary school kids of... What's the name of the school? Source Times Live. Come check. Amukelani Nyalunga and... Um, Fact checker zero. So and Offensa Maluleka. Yeah. This one, so. Drops mic, my dog. Why are you checking on a BBC? <laughs> Drops mic. Oh. I know. Why are you checking on BBC you and not? You yourself, so you did. We need a. Uh... Why did you go straight to BBC? Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you like BBCs? <laughs> what is this? Hey. She went straight to BBC. <laughs> we straight to BBC. Uh, uh, to to, to plead my case. South African. Yeah, uh, to South African. African. <laughs> The South African, and then you went to to BBC. Because they are colonizers. Oh, no, it was Autofield. No. Yeah, BBC. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can, I, can I explain? The You're the thing. very same person who stated that Times um, Live or Shisa Live is not a reliable source. So from now on, I'm using... Dip- ah, you did. Okay, but, but guys... You did. But, but so, listen, so, 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 wait, hold on. Yeah, no, no, both, here's the thing, right? Because he said it multiple times. <laughs> no, but, but... I used but, multiple... But how do you take both I of I used multiple now, right? sources. How did I find it? I don't know, because I didn't go on two times live. I went to IOL, I went to BBC, I went to 702. Yes, but Times Live wouldn't create oh, two human Google. beings and two names. Yeah, why don't you just thing? use Google? You Google. It, that's how I got the sources. Uh, <laughs> First thing, they were in court and they're adults, so the names will be revealed. Yeah. Unless they're kids, sometimes the names are a bit sensitive in court. Mm. But it's fine, don't worry. It's okay, it's okay. You happens. Know, we it learn happens. every day. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 like, okay. yeah. We learn about all jobs yeah. every day. We drop the ball you know? once in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stuart drops it in Wendy's mouth. <laughs> but he drops it nonetheless, you know. Do you know you mentioned that every episode? Eh? You it's mentioned funny. that funny. Because I get reminded about it. Chill is remind us every Bro, day. I'm when like, I'm out I even forgot about it. Eh? You no, we can't. Every yes, day. That was, that was funny, man, you know? <laughs> no, it's yeah. always funny. It's so shame. Yes. Anyway, Glenn 21 is waiting for us. Let's chat to you. Yo, Glenn, sorry, man. Sorry. Hey. So Sharp. Glenn. I was actually doing that one day. Yeah? Uh, well, during an interview, we just fought and see if the guest will complain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and literally, like, I'm moving. Wow. And see them get uncomfortable. <laughs> but how do you stell it fart? How do you, you know, prepare that I'm gonna fart? We need to eat something, you know? How do you prepare? Because you don't have farts readily uh, available. Yeah, those we can drink Amstel, inside. you know, it makes you fart. <gasps> Does Amstel make you fart? Yeah. Sweet potatoes, that's Are the... you for real? Yeah. Sweet potatoes. Oh, sweet potato, yeah. so patat. They should really? change. They should change the to- uh, slogan. I'm still no beer, just shit. Hi, <laughs> boy. <laughs> 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 hey, 
anyway, please welcome our friend of the show, one of the biggest promoters in yeah, SA. Man. Make some noise for Glenn 21. Glenn 21! High five, bro. High five. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean, Kozimun? I don't know. Uh, who, who haven't you brought in the who haven't you brought in the country? You've brought everybody, ne? Not everybody, but yeah. a few. Uh, can yeah. you give us some names? Who have you brought in the country? Um, in this country, we've done people like J. Cole, Travis <sighs> Scott, Post Malone. Um, we're obviously doing a few now, like... Uh, Boys to Men, you brought? Well, they're still coming. Um, oh, okay. We, okay. we just did Tamiya. Um, yeah. We've done Lil Wayne, Chris Brown. Jeez, and, bro. Um, a few names. names. Uh, Tony Braxton. There's, there's a few, yeah. Mm. Um, how, do, how do you guys book these guys? Do you just, like, send an email? How does it happen? Uh, it depends. Sometimes... If they are looking to come into the market, they'll obviously approach the, mar- the people in the market and see if <clears throat> um, there's an interest. And sometimes we will go after them through their agency. Oh, okay, cool. So listen, the reason why we brought you here, and, uh, yep. we've been seeing like a lot of events, especially in the SA, getting cancelled, <laughs> postponed. Yeah. So we decided to bring you here so you can, you know, break it down for us because we don't know what it's like not to pack up a venue, you know. You, you you pick it up every time. <laughs> <laughs> what's going on, bro? Yeah, man. Um, I mean, I don't know what's going on with uh, other people's stuff. You know, obviously, there there are a lot of ways to cancel a show. Um, sometimes there's unforeseen things. During COVID, we had a lot of shows getting cancelled. Um, I think there have been some explanations um, on the current shows or some of the shows that were postponed. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not very close to to the ones that got postponed. Yeah. Yeah. Because I heard uh, with Burner Boy, uh, a friend of mine was working, uh, part of the team, and he was saying, I don't know if you know much about this, he was saying that yeah. it was an American company yeah. was hosting the event. Uh, they wanted to do it here. Okay. Uh, they consulted some people and some people advise them that, listen, man, three months is too short. Let's try maybe do it next year or something like that. What yeah. did you hear from, from, from your side? Um, I, I'm not friends with your friend, but um, I mean, if... <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, in terms of timelines, um, you know, how we look at things, if you're looking to do a stadium, you need at least six months in the market. Um, if you're looking to uh, to do maybe an arena, uh, you should at least have uh, three months. Um, I don't know. Obviously, <clears throat> different artists um, can sell out in different times, you know. Mm. Um, if you give an example with Tamia, she sold out in five days. Wow. So, Jeez. But when you're planning, you can't plan it that way. You know, you always need time. Time is everything in the industry. Yeah. Yeah. What what do you think happened, eh, Pendu? I don't know what what happened, man. But I'm curious from your, I mean, you have a vast, uh, you know, experience and knowledge in yeah. this thing. Damn, bro, you are thirsty, man. Can you refill it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna need it. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> Damn, bro. It's hot in here, man. <laughs> yeah, it is hot. It in is here. hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burn up, boy. Yeah. What's the most suitable venue? For, because to me, it sounds like even if you'd given Burner Boy a thousand years to fill up F&B Stadium, I don't think he would. I just don't think he's got that much of a following to that level, you know, in SA, especially after what happened uh, with uh, what's Global Citizen and the crime around F&B Stadium. People now are very skeptical, co- skeptical you know what I mean, and, and cautious when it comes to attending gigs there. Yeah. Is is was it a realistic expectation to think that a a a a, a burner boy can sell out F and B Stadium ninety thousand capacity? Jeez, <laughs> I think <laughs> <laughs> one man, <laughs> one one man. Um, I think burner boy is big enough to fill up F and B. Mm. Wow. Um, okay. Yeah, I think he he's he's got the the catalog to support it. Mm. Um, I think it's a big brand. Um, obviously there are a lot of factors. That makes people uh, feel whichever venue it is. Um, timing is one of them, um, as well as obviously the lead time, the pricing. It's not just the venue. Um, there's a lot of factors that affect um, sales, you know, um, as well as the economic conditions um, within the country. So mm. um, there's quite a lot of factors. Um, I mean, for this weekend, um, I think there's quite a lot of shows that are happening at the same time. 
Um, and long weekends, you also got to remember, people have weddings. Um, so the long weekend is one of the most targeted weekend also for weddings or for family gatherings, which mm. you can't get away from. So there's quite a lot of things that are happening at the same time. I think um, those are some of the factors that can affect sales. Um, but I think uh, pricing is, is, is a key thing. Um, the, the, the venue is also key. Um, I don't think um, FNB is a good venue as far as I'm concerned. I think there have been many shows after Global Citizen that have happened there and mm. have ha happened successfully. So if, you know, I mean, if you were to hear Drake is coming tomorrow at FNB, you wouldn't talk about anything else that happened in the past, you know. I think oh, it's, definitely. It, 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 it's, it, yeah, there are some factors, but I think people still go there. And people have been going there. Speaking about factors, uh, what factor did COVID have to play in this? Because um, personally speaking, mm -hmm. for me, after COVID, uh, for me to leave my house to go to a concert, it must be for a bloody oh, good you. reason. You know what I mean? What yeah. I so like if Drake is coming, fuck yeah, I'm going to the stadium, you know? How, 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 what part do you think you. Uh, COVID had to play in people now maybe being more, I don't know, like... They think about it more. Should I leave? Like, they need a good reason to leave the house, you know? Yeah, yeah. We, we have been so accustomed to chilling and we realize, oh, you even saved some money, you know? So <laughs> we like chilling in, in, in the home now. Yeah. We're uh, used to it. I mean, I think a lot of shows have done really well since COVID. Um, obviously, we were indoors for quite a while. Um, and after that, <clears throat> people wanted to go out. Um, I think, you know, um, most of the shows that we did last year were, you know, were a success. And even this year, they're still a success. Um, so there's still an appetite, but people are very particular in what they're spending their monies on. Uh, but also, you know, there's, there's different markets um, and different artists that have a pool, you know. Yeah. Um, in my experience, um, R&B has a bigger pool. Okay. Um, yeah. Hip-hop, you have to be like on the very top, top um, once. Um, and then obviously rock and roll, there's a bigger market with pop or the traditional white music because they have more disposable cash. As much as there could be more black people in the country, I don't think there's enough numbers as compared to our white counterparts that can actually afford to um, to buy the tickets because most of the people don't have the disposable cash. You say hip hop, you need to be a, a top, you know, higher echelon artist, obviously, a Drake, a J. Cole. Yeah. Now, the guys uh, who booked the baby mm -hmm. now aborted the baby concert. <laughs> <laughs> they aborted the concert at FNB also, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they took it to Fitzgerald Square or whatever in Newtown. Newtown, yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, same question, similar to the would he fill up a venue like FNB, the baby? Let me answer, in, 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 this is what Glenn's yeah. going to say. Well, you know, it's not my event to speak about, but I can tell you that. <laughs> and that's not what I was going to say. Glenn wants to book these guys. Yeah. That's why I can't say, ah, that's why I can't even feel like Funi's tavern. You know what I mean? Because he wants to book them. I think, I think you know, um, sometimes social media is, is, is the negative stuff or the fun stuff that, you know, once it catches... It never, it never, uh, you know, the truth never really matters because. Yeah. Can you lift up was, your, your, yeah. your chair? Yes, yeah, when you start, this chair, when you lie, yeah. it goes down. Oh, okay. Start lying. All right, I, 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 I was wondering, are you taller than me? <laughs> <laughs> it, it never goes down. It's because you're a promoter. You make it go down. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, <laughs> no, 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 I think now I'm going to be. Yeah, it was, it a, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. But um, I think. Sometimes it's also either how people receive the information or maybe how it's communicated. But in terms of that show, it's actually not at FNB. It's on the field outside FNB. It wasn't inside the stadium. Oh, what Major League used to do? They had uh, yes, yeah, outside. I don't know if it's the is the exact same venue, but it's outside the stadium. It wasn't oh. inside the stadium. Um, and I think the moment, obviously, because it's funny. <laughs> it's gonna trend for the wrong reasons, but it wasn't meant to be. 
um, inside the stadium. And I think maybe the venue change or they want to be very explicit that they're not trying to do uh, the stadium numbers, um, which, which, is, uh, which is what uh, it is now. Uh, we saw a trend this year. Uh, I remember Sumizi tried to do a party in Sun City. Yeah. He postponed. Yeah. Uh, Focalistic, um, he also had to postpone his event. We also had to postpone our event. Because yeah. what we saw is that um, when you do an event, initially, like, uh, the first few weeks, the sales aren't that great, which yeah. was what we saw uh, uh, um, with our event. But what's happening now is that, yes, your sales might not be great, but the last week, that's when like people start buying, and 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 you know you get a, so, a sold out show. But obviously, as a promoter, you're scared because you got bills to pay and whatever. So mm. when the sales are not shooting the roof like you anticipated, mm. normally you uh, reschedule. And uh, so why is there uh, uh, culture. a culture of buying tickets late? Because um, even now, like DSTV Delicious, you can still buy the tickets right now. Yeah, they're not sold out. Yeah, it's it's, it's a phenomenon across the the, the 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 sectors in events. Where David Gow here last week said mm. the same thing for years. He doesn't even panic now because yeah. there's a culture of South Africans not buying tickets as soon as they're available and waiting for the last minute. Um, once again, it's not the same for everything or for all the events you know um if they feel like they're gonna miss out um they're gonna buy early um and usually people with disposable cash um which is why you're seeing maybe quite a lot more older school r&b shows because those guys they don't wait until um the very last minute that used to be only devon that you sell on the last week of the just before the show. Um, but at the moment, my experience is actually quite surprising. Um, Devon is selling faster than um, even Cape Town, um, which is which is quite tricky, you know? Um, and once again, with concerts and stuff like that, I think we, we've we seen the opposite. They have actually sold out quite earlier than, than, than the norm, you know? Um, once again, if you're targeting more youth, that's going to be um, the trend because um, youth usually buy at the very, very, very last minute. Um, so that will always be the case. But with the older market, it's slightly different. Um, and yeah. How much money is there in, in events, especially uh, stadiums, arenas? You know, sometimes the biggest events are not Just usually the most, pro uh, the, the most profitable. Um, I think some of the best ones we, we've done are actually the medium size um, because the bigger it is, the expenses are also bigger. Um, a place like, you know, a stadium, I don't think it's specific to any particular one, so it, there's no need to name one, but, yeah. um, you know, the traffic or just the jock cost for a stadium are just much more uh, ridiculous than what you would pay maybe at an existing venue because obviously there's quite a lot of stuff that that's already there but also i mean if you're talking traffic control for 90,000 60,000 yeah, versus 10,000 it's going to be you know it's going to be it's going to be a, a a big cost um so for me stadiums are not necessarily the most profitable just because the cost that comes with stadiums, I just also... Well, what's the most you've lost uh, at a gig? Um, uh, the one that I remember specifically was um, I did a show called Soul Fest in Devon. Um, I think the VIP Mikey cost me as much as I received on ticket sales for that show. So everything else I looked at was a loss. Wow. Um, We're talking millions, hundred thousands. And millions. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. So when that happens, you still do some more gigs, bro. Um, I mean, the reality is like, um, and I was saying this uh, to some other people, like, you know, promoters are like professional gamblers. Yeah. <laughs> essentially, um, you win some, um, you lose some. Um, when we enter into an event, we, our target is to break even. Mm. And then the rest, you know, it's, it's a bonus. To be quite honest with you, um, it's a very profitable business when you, when it comes right, but it's also a very um, 
costly. You know, costly one um, if you don't get it right. Um, so you win some, you lose some. If you look at it as just one event, it, it could be very um, damaging. But if you look at it as, as a series of events, uh, it becomes slightly um, better. Let's talk about Hey Neighbor, man. Yeah. Uh, three day, three day event, three yeah? Days, yeah. Yeah, what's yeah. going on? Oh, man. <laughs> um, it's, um, you know, during COVID, we, we looked at the landscape here um, and just what is happening. Obviously, a venue like the Dome, which we were <laughs> using, um, was closed down. So we needed <clears throat> something. We thought of how do we come back? And Hey Neighbor was what we came up with. Um, we, we had been going to other festivals um, for quite a while, just doing our research on how that works, because it's a different economics, you know, um, when you're now talking festivals. Uh, but what we realized is in South Africa, there wasn't a massive festival with a very, you know, world-class production as well as world-class um, lineup, and we felt we could achieve that with uh, Hey Neighbor. We wanted to become something that, you know, is iconic with uh, South Africa. People come here to just see Hey Neighbor. Talk it the same way that, you know, people talk about the other global uh, festivals. Coachella, all those. Well, if I mention it, then they'll be like, he's comparing yeah, yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, but yeah. Um, we want it to be a global, iconic um a uh, festival that we can all be proud of, yeah. So how are you marketing abroad then, if that's the case? Um, so we do have some brand partners that, that are coming on board that are um, assisting us in different parts of, of, the, of the world, but also some of the brand partners that we have on the private sector are also uh, bringing people from different markets um, in, 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 the, in the continent. Um, so we, we do have brands that it's not just an African play, South African play for them, it's an African play. So there'll be people coming from like eight different markets in Africa for, for certain brands. So what we do have is on the 11th of October, we'll have a media day where we'll obviously share the brands that are part of Hey Neighbor, as well as what they're gonna be doing at uh, Hey Neighbor. I think the biggest challenge is people have been comparing it to concerts or things that they're that, that has been happening and it's something quite different <laughs> quite different wow. and 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 quite massive so um i think our challenge is obviously now communicating what that will look like um what it is um it's not a concert it's a festival you know yeah. um but at the same time it will take the first one for people to then have that aha moment like oh now we get it you know uh, but some people are starting to get it what exactly it is um, but it's an exciting thing for us, scary. Um, it's massive. Um, I mean, we, we've done what are considered the biggest, you know, festival for the past few years uh, with Unlocks. And this is a different level um, to, to, to what we've done in the past there. Wow. Kendrick bro. is there. He, he's yeah. Like, I think the biggest artist on the, on the bill. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen that lineup, bro? Uh, it's crazy, right? No, that lineup is worth more than 100 million rands. Definitely. Jesus, I kid you not. Yeah. You see, he didn't, wow. he didn't say no. He didn't flinch. He didn't flinch. Yeah. Is, yeah. <laughs> bro, what's, 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 Kendrick's, what's Kendrick's hospitality right now? Like, what, what are some of his demands? I actually haven't seen it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I That's haven't Nikki looked coming. at it, but I think it's, 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 it's honestly. Nikki. Nikki Minaj. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it's her. Her. Oh, oh, her is coming. Her. Yeah. Not her, Nikki. Her. <laughs> <laughs> her. Um, I, I made a, I made an example like um, I don't do a lot of interviews, but I did this one, and yeah. they asked me the same thing. Clearly, you know, writers are quite an important thing. But um, this one time, I was working with a friend of mine, and um. We had to drive somewhere, and then I went to his um, his sister-in-law's car, and she was driving a Ferrari. Uh, I think it was my first time inside a Ferrari. I was trying to make a conversation. I was like, wow, um, this must cost a lot with petrol. She's like, darling, if you buy this car, petrol is the least of your you, problems. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. So I think if you're talking the level of artists that we so have So you have there, a Ferrari as well? Yeah, I think. Yeah, that is definitely 
a Ferrari, yeah. I don't think petrol is a consideration. So, oh, yeah. so right. Ryan is just petrol. Yeah. <laughs> if you want warm towels that smell like a particular cologne, you make that happen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah true though. If you've paid three million for the guy, I mean, hey. Ghost Lady, got a question? Um, my question to Glenn is Man. someone is looking at you and they probably want to get into um, what you do. Yeah. What is the step by step like program on, or maybe the mechanics of being a successful promoter? Uh, I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, ah. But, um, you know, when I started, I started um, I started at a club. Um, I was a club promoter. Um, wow. And then... Um, yeah, I still have you saved as the sense, Glenn. Oh, <laughs> shit. I can say that, yeah. <laughs> no, you can say shit. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I made um, about the sense. You know the sense, the club, the sense. Yeah, yeah I remember the sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We met earlier, but those days you don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I started at a club so that, you know, we we moved from clubs to, um, I, I got to work for a company called JTI. We started doing events for uh, Camo Cigarettes and there was a cigarette brand that we uh, we launched called 2020 at the time. So I was uh, responsible for their events. Um, so... Yeah, that's how it grew. And then um, a, a friend of the club owner that I was working at, or I was promoting at, um, was doing um, a concert and they weren't selling tickets. Mm. So this whole selling tickets thing is not new. It's not new. Yeah. Experienced, unexperienced people will go through it. We've gone through it as well. Um, how many tickets have you sold so far for? Quite a lot. Hey, neighbor, ne? Yeah, for quite, quite good, a lot. Ne? Yeah, nice. yeah. No, that's Beautiful. looking... That's looking good. Yeah. I think um, uh, I, I'm scared for Saturday tickets when we announce um, the other supporting. Uh, wow. Yeah. So, um, but it's, um, it's 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 a good one. Hmm. Yeah, it's a good one. Um, but anyway, so I started small, hmm. um, grew to a different level up until a point where we could do our own um, concerts. Nice one. What's the model, the business model? Where do you make m the most money? You know, do you, is it the sales? Because most people think it's the sales, but there's also the bar. And then there's also sponsors who drop some bars as well. Yeah. <laughs> ah, is this <laughs> bar? Is it the bar to buy alcohol or the bar money or what is it? Yeah, I want to say bar, I mean alcohol. <laughs> no, no, money, money. Because uh, okay. sometimes we get big headline sponsors that literally, yeah. you know, and you, you're profitable just by them, you know, bringing in so much money. Or yeah. that's what I think. I may be completely yeah, lost. Yeah, I, I, mean, I mean, it differs. There are some events where you go in, they're fully covered, um, your expenses, and some that, you know, you can't get, you know, to to, to, the, to that uh, to that level. Um, we've been fortunate um, that we've done a lot of events for brands um, across the continent. Um, and we also do have quite a strong relationship with brands within within the space so um, we obviously with concerts there isn't quite a lot of brands involved because there isn't much I mean you you just did uh, you just sold you guys just sold out uh, San Arena yeah I mean San Arena would look the same whatever is happening you know it's San Arena it's not like you can do you can create like a a jungle gym How big was that? Whatever. How big was that for us to fill up San Arena as a podcast uh, in this in these times? I, I, I think I did send you a, a, a message saying congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I did send a congratulation message. You know, every time I send this guy a message that he replies to is only congratulations, but <laughs> the other ones, <laughs> <laughs> the other ones he doesn't reply to. Yeah. Um, that was amazing, man. Mm. Um, I think that was that was that was beautiful. Mm. Um, I was proud of you. Thank you. I know you've gotten a lot of slack, mm. and to see you grow the way you have, I mean, just being here, it's 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 a proud moment for me. Yeah, I'm sure. By Venda, what I got on Amanda. Amanda. Yeah. Dando. Yeah. All right, cool, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Glenn. We yeah. shall see you at Hey Neighbor. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Pinduk, anything else you want to ask? Yeah, what's with the 21, man? What does that mean in Glen 21? <laughs> 21 million. That's too small, bro. That's oh, yes. Small. Yeah, that's a booking for <laughs> yeah. Drake. Yeah. No, that's Kendrick's rider. That's Kendrick's exactly. petrol. Yeah, that's the petrol. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah Just the petrol. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's not, I mean, really. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, 21, I was born August 21st. Ah. Um, 
And um, yeah, there's, there's quite okay. a long story. You guys look like you have more important people to come, so I'll leave you to you. Oh, very important. When we have a guest, they're the most important yes, yes. for us on, in the planet at mm. the moment. Yeah, but I think it, it comes down from... Um, I, I was born on the 21st of August. Um, when I was in high school, there was this girl also born 21st of... I think it was October or November. Um, I kind of like I remember everything. Yeah. My wife won't be impressed. <laughs> 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 um, and then I um, also used to play uh, basketball. My favorite player was uh, a guy called Tim Duncan. His number used to be um, 21. Uh-huh. Um, while I was at UCT, uh, I kind of coached or captain the the basketball team there for uh, wow. a race called the Omakwara Hall. And we used to write uh, quarterly letters. Um, and I would write and sign off as Glen 21. Mm. As in every quarter of the game? No, like um, quarter, like, yeah. you know, four quarters in a year? Oh, not quarters of the basketball match. No, no, no. No, no just for the year. Okay. Um, so we do these letters. Um, and I'll sign off as Glen 21 because that was the number I also used to play with. And I had... Um, a roommate who was a DJ. So we had a pub at the rest. When he's DJing, I would be obviously organizing everything else. 21 honeys. Yeah. <laughs> Road kill. We Why for us before your time? <laughs> we were targeting more. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. The vendor boys are up. Yeah, yeah, they're <laughs> getting up, eh? <laughs> um, yeah, so that's... Wow, the, what uh, profound. People, yeah, people Deep. started saying... Glen 21, so when I started moving up here in Jobek, it, 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 it made sense to continue with that. And Beautiful. Yeah, that's how we... Keep doing the great work, man. Awesome, man. Who are you bringing next year? Are we bringing Kanye West? For, 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 for what? Hey, for, neighbor, what are we doing for next hey year? Hey, neighbor, next year is actually very exciting. Ne- um, yeah. It, the funniest thing about Hey Neighbor is that the moment we went out, um, we got quite a lot of few co- a lot of calls from artists wanting to be part of this year. Um, so international, that, local artists? International. Wow. Yeah, international. Um, man, I mean, like, I'm excited for this year. We want to get through this year first. And then. But I, I can tell you, next year, I'm even more excited, you know. Jeez, um, jeez. We, 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 we blessed to be where we are and we, <clears throat> we obviously need the support for this year and once we get through it, I think oh. people be very, 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 very excited for next year because, yeah, we we do have quite a few names that I think will excite people. This chair will go down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love it, man. Yeah, Can we have better. twenty-one claps for Clint Twenty-one. Uh, twenty-one clap salute. <laughs> Podcast and chill. We are here, man. Boom. Hi. Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do. Just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha lefiki. Bungo yig, even if when they ask you, how sabi in, do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistivi. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one? Is that one? Podcast and chill.